All right, let's talk about Jets first rounder, Will McDonald, who it was a criticized draft pick when it happened. Not to say that, you know, everyone kind of liked Will McDonald, but people thought it was maybe a bit of an overdraft. So let's talk about what we saw from him right away, though. And I have to say, uh, you know, I was kind of one of those Will McDonald haters, but I've always maintained I've been wrong you know, plenty, and I do not value my own opinion so much that I will sit here and say, oh, because I said one thing preseason, that's what must happen. Uh, I try to go into the season with a completely blank slate, and I was very impressed with Will McDonald. He could be one of the many players that makes me look stupid uh, in a couple of years. Too early to say, just one preseason game, but he looked really good, I thought, out there. This play was a fun one that I bet people are going to discredit, but I don't think that they should. So what's going to happen here is it's going to be a play action, and then you have the quarterback rollout towards the bottom of the screen. Kellen Mond, the quarterback on this play. Will McDonald is unblocked on the edge right here, which is what you typically do in these types of plays. You hope that Will McDonald rushes in to try and stop a, a handoff, but then when the quarterback back runs around now will mcdonald uh you know uh is too far out of position to make something happen so when this play begins you see that mcdonald did not get himself way out of position right here he is aware of where kellen mond is and is paying close attention to that kind of thing and so because of that he now uh has not gotten himself out of position and this is turned from a situation where maybe he'd be nowhere near the quarterback to now he can make a play as you see, I mean, he rushes, you know, very uh, quickly in. Kellen Mond, I thought, did a pretty decent job at reading what was happening and trying to get rid of the football quickly, but he just couldn't get his, you know, get his feet turned around in time to get the throw down the field and get enough power on the throw for it to be a completion. To me, this was entirely set up by the Jets' first round pick, by Will McDonald, uh, which is, again, some people will discredit it and say, okay, congratulations, you were unblocked and were able to generate a pressure, good work. Um, but there's more to it than that. And the reality is, on these types of plays, typically, they don't result in the edge rusher generating a pressure. Or if they do, it's a lot further along in the play than what happened here. NFL teams wouldn't run these plays if it always resulted in edge rushers being able to generate pressure. You have to make a good read as an edge rusher, and McDonald did. Let's move on to this play now. So, uh, you know, listen, it was not a perfect game from Will McDonald. The The pluses were there, and we'll get to the pluses. The reality is, it's hard as an edge rusher. You know, these uh, preseason uh, you know, videos, I think there's always stuff you can learn from it. And more than anything, I just think it's fun to do. I think it's fun to talk about preseason and to get hyped about the young players and all of that stuff. Uh, but, you know, uh, on more of an analytical level, one of the difficulties when it comes to linemen in general, uh, offensive or defensive linemen, is that really I value consistency more than I value just being able to win or not being able to win because that tends to be what matters more. Anyone can win. It's just a consistency thing. But like for something like this, for example, uh, you know, what's going to happen is you have uh, you know, Will McDonald on the edge uh, going up one-on-one -on -one against the Browns left tackle. And as you see, when this play begins, I uh, got a you know, little chipped and wasn't really able to do too much. Kind of tried to get past the tackle, it looked like, tried to get you know, around him. But with the chip, he couldn't really get the release he wanted to. And by the time he finally got a little bit past the tackle, he had plenty of time to come back and make the play. There were, there were little plays like that. He was not going out there winning every rep. You don't expect him to go out there and win every rep. That's just not going to happen. But it is, I think, worth mentioning. Something like this is maybe a better example of really kind of, uh, you know, emphasizing the point I'm trying to make, which I haven't really made yet, is uh, you have a, a tight end who's going to chip uh, McDonald. So again, uh, you know, there's help here. And then it's Dewan Jones, the, uh, you know, uh, fourth round pick by the Browns, but many people liked him, sort of a hyped up rookie who, uh, you know, people were concerned about, is he too tall to play the position, that kind of weirdness. But anyway, when this play begins, McDonald gets slowed down a little bit. And because of that, uh, you know, uh, Jones is in relative position. Now, McDonald still sees this play and says, hey, this is far from over. Watch him kind of swipe that right arm away to try and get past Jones. And in college, this is just where McDonald would get a sack, right? He'd run past the tackle who isn't as quick as him and be able to get the pressure. And this is just why it's so much more difficult at the NFL level to succeed is because Everyone you're going up against is as fast as you. Everyone you're going up against is as strong as you. Everyone you're going up against 
is has as good of hands as you. So you got to find very little ways to uh, you know elevate your game above them to turn yourself into uh, a premier player. And right here, when he tries to go past, you know, I actually think that if that play lasted a little bit longer, he could have had a pressure. He kind of stopped once he realized that uh, he wasn't going to get past him, and maybe would have eventually gotten to the quarterback. Uh, but there just uh, there wasn't enough time for that. Cullen Mom was already throwing an interception before uh, he could do that, so uh, couldn't quite make that happen. At the end of the day, I certainly don't view this as a negative. I view this as him learning and figuring out how to do stuff. He certainly has the tools to find ways to generate pressure. He's just going to have to figure out what's the best way with his skill set to get there. The bad thing to see from an edge rusher in the preseason is not even being able to have any of your moves work. It's not a bad thing to have some moves uh, only kind of work because, you know, that's just part of the learning process. So I saw this play and I immediately, you know, made sure I recorded this play, uh, which I now, uh, this is a complete tangent, but I now have to record plays uh, as they happen with the in, due to an illegal stream, due to the fact that the NFL doesn't let me screen record off of their uh, NFL Game Pass anymore. It's been a whole thing. Uh, you know, if you follow me on Twitter, you can hear more of my thoughts on that. But, uh, you know, anyway, so okay, made sure I recorded this play, because I'm like, this is an interesting one from Will McDonald. Watch as you're going to see him really just try to pull off a spin move, and it does not work at all. And I'm like, okay, Will McDonald, listen, uh, love the love the energy. Might as well try stuff, you know, figure out what works. But, you know, pulling off a spin move in your first preseason game, no one can do that, right? No one can do that, right? Well, let's go over to this play, third down and two. Uh, you see where Will McDonald is, going up one-on-one -on -one against a left tackle for Cleveland. Right off the bat, watch him try to, you know, he goes towards the uh, tackle, and at this current point, I mean, you know, it's not looking great. Tackle, I would say, is in perfect position to make this block. I, I don't really see uh, a clear way to try and beat him. But McDonald just easily pulls off this spin move and is able to get over and generate a pressure. I mean, come on, that's just, that's awesome. That's awesome. And every tackle will tell you the most difficult block to make in the NFL is uh, blocking a spin move. It's so difficult to do. And Will McDonald, the fact that he can pull it off, yeah, that's something to get excited about if you're a Jets fan. Also, a little thing, something like this is still something I like to see, and these are the things that I notice were, so right off the bat, this play is not going to involve him too much. He's an edge rusher here on the third down and three. He's going to get left unblocked as it's a run to the other side of the field. So, okay, typically he does not have an impact on this play. Watch out when it begins, does the right thing, make sure that he waits, make sure that the ball was actually handed off to the running back, because if it wasn't, the quarterback could take it himself, get to the outside, but McDonald making sure that that does not happen. So, so far, so good. Did his job, albeit not a very difficult job to do, but hey, still got to make sure you do the little things. But then watch his hustle here, and watch how, even though he runs into a, a defensive lineman, he still finds a way to hustle back and just try to make an impact on the play. It wasn't anything crazy, and he even did slow down for a second there before then realizing he had a shot to do something, but he, you know, he embraced the contact, and he found a way to still, uh, you know, uh, make something happen, and for me, I would say that that is definitely a, a positive trait in an edge rusher. Ha having a high motor player like McDonald, yeah, that's optimistic. So, again, what have we learned from Will McDonald? There's only so much you can learn from a guy in their first preseason game, but the way I view this is it's just little tests along the way before the season starts, and I see it as he passed his first test. It wasn't perfect, but he's learning, and he's getting better as a player, and he's still showing the flashes, which, you know what, for uh, a, a rookie who's playing in their first preseason game, it's kind of all you can ask for. At least that's what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.